Okay, folks, just another uh, 2016 year in review time travel video intro thing that I probably should have done the first time around, but I'm just now getting around to doing. This is a very special show. Um, this is a little bit different than the others because I really had no chance to see this. I'm not even going to pretend. Uh, when Stevie Nicks went solo um, and they recorded this concert for HBO, uh, it was an incredible performance. She was gorgeous. Uh, the songs were incredible. However, they only did a few select dates on the West Coast, and, and I, there was no way for me to do that, so I'm not going to pin it on my mother or anybody else who didn't love me enough to take me. But watching this over and over and over on HBO and recording it um, the same way I did Fridays, putting my little tape deck next to the speaker and, and that whole thing, um, drew me in further and further. I, and most of you know my first love was Olivia Newton-John. My rebound girl was Carrie Fisher. And my second love probably was Stevie Nicks. And I fell in love with her watching this concert. She was so beautiful and so awesome and so fun and so cute. And the same thing happened with her that happened with Olivia. I don't know why I keep having the same problem in relationships, but uh, I found out she was the same age as my mother. And I cried and cried and cried. But um, I got over it. Anyway, this is an incredible concert. Just the lineup is great. It's very representative of the musicians on the album. You get Russ Kunkel on drums, uh, Waddy Wachtel on guitar, both of whom um, played a lot with Linda Ronstadt and James Taylor, those folks. You get Roy Bitten on piano from the E Street Band, uh, Ben Montinch from the Heartbreakers, et al. You know, a few other folks. But uh, just great performances of great songs, and she's just truly wonderful. I did have a chance to see her in Charleston on the next tour of the Wild Heart with uh, Joe Walsh opening, I believe. That would have been a lot of fun. Uh, didn't make it to that for whatever reason. Um, but I just don't think that she ever uh, quite captured the magic of, of this concert. It was sad, though, because they did have to cut the tour short. And rumor has it it's because Mick Fleetwood wanted to rush a new Fleetwood Mac project out because, you know, Lindsey Buckingham had done okay with his solo thing, and then she was hitting Catching Fire, and it was going to be really wise to do a new Fleetwood Mac. Um, so I don't know how much you can pin on him, but it, it's sad that she didn't get to tour a little bit more for this album. So let's watch this beautiful lady um, at what I believe was, was her best, because uh, honestly, after this, voice kind of started to go a little bit wacky, you know, and uh, uh, the next album was great, but everything after that's just kind of, you know, for me, I'm just saying. Anyway, Stevie Nicks, the White Winged Dove concert, as many people call it. Enjoy.